When we think of the Holocaust, we say never again. If we are serious about that, we have to understand how the murder of millions was possible. We have not learned two basic lessons. The lesson of ecological panic, the lesson of state destruction. In a world of climate change and global fears about food and water, in a world where great powers undermine the statehood of others, some of the conditions for mass killing have returned. We think of anti-Semitism, but we forget how hatred of a group can make sense of a confusing world. Hitler blamed the Jews for hindering the Germans from taking land. Jews were to blame for shortages, said the Nazis, so exterminating them would bring empire and prosperity. We think of German Jews, though the murder happened beyond Germany. To kill the Jews of Europe, the Germans first had to destroy European states. Only Jews deprived of citizenship could be killed. We need to know that political order protected Jews and destroying states permitted their murder. We need to know that Hitler defined local problems as a globalization crisis and that Hitler found a horrifying resolution. We should remember the Holocaust to honor its victims every last Jewish child, woman, and man who was senselessly murdered. We should understand the Holocaust in the name of generations to come. It is uncomfortable to imagine what humans can do to other humans in circumstances not so different from our own. But if we learn the wrong lessons from the Holocaust, we make further tragedies more likely.